Hello everyone, my name is Python Jimmy and welcome back to the 16th episode of my Terraria Christmas playthrough, my friends. Nine days until Christmas. The 10 day countdown has started. Nine days until Christmas, my friends. It is amazing. I hope you guys are excited as I am for it. Oh, mate, I'm so looking forward to it. My first ever Christmas away from home and in my own house. It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> but yeah, my friends, I want to thank you for the support you showed in the previous episode and indeed for the series once again. It is super awesome of you guys to uh, to continue supporting this. So yeah, but we're starting off today with a traveling merchant who just spawned in. What is that? Acorns? That looks kind of cool. Hey, check it out. An ammo box as well. I'll go and take that. Oh my lord. And a sitting duck's fishing pole. I'm going to get that simply for the fact that it's extremely rare that he actually sells that. There we go. And I'm going to put it straight away away in a chest and stuff because I don't really need it right now. All right. So what I want to do is I want... Oh, wow. It is a winter painting. I'm going to put this thing down. It looks amazing. All right, Santa. You can have yourself a painting, right? Enjoy. Enjoy, buddy. Oh, that looks so amazing. Look at that. <laughs> it's a little snowy tree with an apple coming off it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we've got an ammo box. I'm going to go and uh, treasure that in my inventory. Talking to my inventory, I've gone ahead and organized it since the last episode. So we've got a little bit more in terms of storage space. So that is awesome. And yeah, on this night coming up, we are going to be hopefully defeating Skeletron Prime. Now, there's a couple things I want to do in that I would really like to buy myself four stacks of arrows, okay? And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I want to make myself an endless quiver. And by making an endless quiver, we've got endless ammo. Because obviously in the last episode, we discovered that holy arrows plus an ice bow doesn't actually do anything. In other words, the holy effects, you know, with the stars falling down from the sky, all that kind of stuff, doesn't actually work. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right, so, uh, do we have a crystal ball? In fact, we've got a wizard, haven't we? I might as well go and buy one. Uh, there we go. Oh, mate, this is turning out to be an expensive episode. Look at that. We've only got 15 gold coins left. What the hell? That's crazy. Okay, so, I mean, I might as well just put it down. Boom, you go there, and there we go. Endless Quiver. And you, my good sir, will go in there. And I can put my holy arrows away and use them when I need to. Yeah, that. That sounds good. Wow, there's a proper blizzard right now. Holy crap. That looks amazing, man. I love it when it blizzards like this. It's awesome. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to head up here real quick. We're going to go pretty much to the center of the platform, which is going to be, like, here-ish. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Looks good. It's all good. All right, guys. It is almost night time and, well, I almost forgot. We need to go ahead and change our pet again. So, hello, Mr. Penguin. How you doing, my good sir? Cool. All good. All good. Hey, a present. Talking of presents, we'll be able to open it if we manage to defeat Skeletron Prime. So, that is pretty awesome. And I've got a bit of a change of plans, actually. I do believe that I have unlocked Tier 2 of the Old One Army event. So, it might be worth me going ahead and doing that after we have defeated Skeletron Prime. At least, hopefully, defeated Skeletron Prime. So, that's all good. And because we're not really going to be using the yo-yo, we are going to go ahead and put the Putrid Scent on, which grants us 71 range damage on our bow and uh, it's going to be even more in a minute in fact let me just do a quick test this is now going to be 86 ranged damage that is just incredible so here we go my friends let's get all the buffs let's get skeleton prime going and uh, yeah here he goes oh boy okay this is going to be an endurance fight and a half my friends with a not fully automatic weapon this is going to take a long time and also these wolves are really not helping my cause so if they could, like, stop and go away, that would be fantastic and stuff. All right, here we go. This really is going to take a hell of a long time, man. Like, this is... Oh, ah! And, uh, yeah, all of this knocking me back business is not going to be helping me, is it now? Come on, let's keep it going. Still don't have any regen potions, which sucks. All right, I'm using the mini-map to try and gauge where he is so I can get my bow shots on point. So... Hopefully that does the job. What's it looking like now? 22,000 health. So, okay, I've already taken down like 6k of his health, which is pretty damn nice. And I do still appear to be doing frost damage to him, which is also very nice. So, lasting damage as well. Nice. I like it very, very much indeed. Hey, come on, man. You think you're going to take me down? I think that I'm going to be the one who takes you down. And as a result, I can make myself a pickaxe axe. What do you think about that? I'm going to use your parts to make a pickaxe axe. I'm going to take your soul and shove it into a pickaxe recipe. <laughs> oh, that sounds a bit menacing. Santa Claus is not that menacing. Jeez. He's not that bad. 
God. All right, there we go. I'll tell you what, the, the health regen is certainly doing its job, which is kind of nice. I'll tell you something, the uh, Endless Quiver sure is doing the job. Love it very much. And I love the fact that it's doing frost damage. It is super, super awesome. How's it looking? 16,000 health. The only thing that might wind up happening is either we die or we've run out of time. We're certainly not going to run out of ammo, because that's just not possible. Unless we accidentally, like, delete our freaking thing. That would be really, really stupid. Alright, keep it going. 14,000 health. I do apologise, by the way, if you can actually hear the spamming of the click, but... That, that's not really something I can help. It's, it's kind of the thing that happens when you don't have a fully automatic weapon and the fact that there are no fully automatic ice bow weapons, right? Like, it's not to my memory, though, is it, anyway? Come on! Let's keep it going. Keep it, keep it going. How is it looking right now? How is it looking? I, I estimate he's around, like, 10k health, maybe? Uh, oh, is it 9k? Okay, so I'm actually pretty close with my estimation right there. Keep it going! Oh, mate! I'm not looking so hot right now, it has to be said. Uh, let's keep it going though. I've got faith. I've got faith. Hopefully you guys have got faith. Come on, man! Ice bow! You've taken down the twins. I have faith that you can take down the Skeletron Prime dude as well. Come on, let's get it. And boom. There we go. So, yeah, one of the things I managed to make was a Titan potion. And uh, I don't think I've ever made one of them before. Mostly because I don't actually know how to make them. But it turns out you use bones in the recipe, which I did not know was a thing. So I think from now on in, in my Terraria Let's Plays, I'm going to put bones in my uh, potion ingredients chests. I think that's a good idea. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know a lot of you guys sort of prefer not having a mini-map when, uh, when people fight bosses, but me, I'll use it for tactical purposes. So, yeah, there we go. 3,000 health. This guy, this guy's almost done at this point, my friends. And uh, we better be quick because we're running out of buff time. Oh, mate. I ain't about to run out of freaking buffs. That'd suck. So we've got about half a minute left across the board. He's down to 2k health. Come on. And this fight has lasted a fairly decent amount of time. Once again, using the minimap to try and judge where he is. Okay, that seems to have done it. He's less than a thousand health now, my friends. Uh, let's try and get him down here real quick. Just so I can pick up his drops a bit easier. And boom, there he goes. Destroyed. As it should be. Yeah! Awesome stuff, my friends. We freaking did it. I'm really, really happy with that. Really, really happy with that indeed, in fact. Get off me, little wolfie. Go on, bud. Hey, we freaking did it. Santa is a badass. We always, we always knew he was a badass, but we, we didn't quite know just how badass he was until he got a freaking goddamn ice bow. I mean, look at it. 74 range damage. Even that's still pretty damn cool. And that's without the archery potion. Damn! Alright, so let's grab this out. Let's grab some of that out. Let's grab that out. Let's grab that out. And, uh, yeah, we're going to head down and uh, make it a pickaxe axe. Yes. Yes. That sounds like a good idea, does it not? Here we go, my friends. Pickaxe axe. Boom. Demonic. Uh, I wouldn't mind something with more speed on it, but I'm not going to reforge it simply because I don't have a great deal of money. So, yeah, we're going to avoid doing that. Uh, we're going to put this stuff back away. And we need to find ourselves where we put the Eternia crystal because, ladies and gentlemen, we are just going to go straight into going ahead and doing the event. In fact, no. I've got to open the presents first, do I not? Boom. Let's get it done. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. I'm seeing something I haven't got before. Candy cane sword. Ah, oh, it's not fully auto. God damn it. I really wish it was fully auto because that would be freaking awesome. Eh, oh well. Let's go put these hollies up. Like, this entire base is just spammed to absolute high hell with hollies. And it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> They're just all over the place, man. Look at it. <laughs> oh, nice and festive, my friends. Nice and festive. That's just how we do. That's just how we go. All right. So, Snow Hat, I'm pretty sure I've already got that, so I'm going to go and sell that one. Start Anise, uh, hello, I could probably quick stack that in the stuffs up here. Boom. Ah, it's already been quick stacked somewhere. Oh, there it is, 199 Star Anise. Awesome. Alright, so I am going to get some more buff potions, I think, and we are going to do the Old One Armies event, Tier 2. So, where's the thing? Tis the question, I'm pretty sure I still have them. I bought like, oh, there we are. Four of them. Fantastic. Awesome. All right. And let's head down here. Uh, just to clarify, I've never actually taken down the Tier 2 Old One Armies event. I've only taken down Tier 1 before. So it would be kind of awesome if we could do Tier 2 as well. But if not, then, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. Oh, I've run, out of, I've run out of bottles. I'm a noob. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we're grabbing some sand out and making some bottles real quick. Let's get it done. 
And here we go, my friends. We've got two of each of these buff potions. Swiftness, Iron Skin, Night Owl, Archery, Hunter, and Titan. I imagine the Titan potions might actually come in useful here. So without further ado, the Tier 2 Old Ones Army. Let's get it done. Let's buff up. Let's get ourselves our first turret place down, my friends. And boom. Yeah, buddy. This is going to be the time of epicness and epicness again and stuff. Here we go, my friends. All right, so those guys are going to get killed by the Clothu, apparently. That's kind of cool. Ha! <laughs> Chippy's apparently taking everybody down. Awesome. Oh, okay, we've already got the Javelin dudes. How much health does this guy have? He's got 3,000 health. Awesome. Okay, so I think we need to focus on the left-hand side because the right-hand side seems to be a little bit more taken care of than the left. Let's just uh, head back over here real quick. We need only one more Ethereum mana. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's place this little baby down here and let's get this thing rolling. The old lightning rod doing its job like a true professional. All right, here we go. Th th this guy's just getting absolutely murked. Okay, how are we doing over here? What? He managed to hit it already. What the hell? Come on, get destroyed, all of you. There we go. Uh, apparently there's one Ethereum mana somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hey! And get wrecked. All right, where is it? There. Cool. All right, let's get them as soon as they come out the portal. Let's get it done. All right, cool. So, moving on to wave two in a matter of seconds. Not doing bad so far, my friends. Not doing bad by any stretch of the imagination. Took that wave down. And this thing, I do believe, does regenerate, but very slowly. Yeah, you saw that. Okay, cool. All right, the kobolds are among us now. This is going to be interesting. I am thinking we might switch to... Ooh. Yes, that's doing a lot of damage. I like it. Keep it going. Mate, they're getting destroyed. Whoa. Don't you start blowing things up, Sonny Jimbo. Go on, Clothier. You got this, buddy. I can't believe I'm utilizing blooming NPCs in this. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay, the bow is no longer doing the job. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. No, 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 Jeez, how many kobolds are there? There's so many of them. It's crazy. All right, another one. Come on, man. Give up, dude. All right. No, kobolds everywhere. Kobolds everywhere. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this. There's no way in hell now. Oh, my God. We're not doing enough damage. You could just get overrun so easy. It's incredible. All right, is that everybody? All right, here we go. Let's get another one of these placed down. Nice one. And let's get another one of these placed down. All right, so we've got a little bit more damage going on, my friends. Awesome stuff. Okay. Let's see how the mana does real quick. There we go. Let's get a little bit of that going. All right. Not doing too bad. Need to try and take these guys down, like, as soon as possible. All right. These guys seem to be doing the job. Keep it going. The more damage we could do. The earlier. Oh, the Wivens! Wivens! Wivens, Wivens, I don't know what the hell. Come on. Take them all down. Take them all down. There we go. Let's move over here. Alright, I'll tell you what, this is certainly easier in multiplayer mode. It has to be said. Oh, Wiven! Get off me. Alright, and let's check on the right hand side. Not doing bad. Ah, uh, this wave. I think I've gotten used to the cobbles now, which is always a good sign. All right, let's get over here. We could place down another top if we wanted to. God, let's get these kobolds out of the way. You're not taking me down, kobold. Oh! Oh, one took... Oh, my God. They're not looking so hot. Oh, this thing in the middle is not looking so hot at all, in fact. All right, let's get ourselves another one. Oh, my God. There's going to be some serious damage going on here. Jeez. All right, let's get another one here. There we go. Come on, man. Oh, I wish I could... Can I, like... like I want to... I wish there was a way of, like, regening that thing. If there is, then I'm a complete dum-dum, but I just don't know how to do it. All right. Wyverns. Let's get the Wyverns. I think Wyverns are, like, priority numero uno. Then it's going to be the Cobolds next. Talking to Cobolds, there's one. Get off me. 
Javelin throws. No, more wyverns. Come on. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Santa's going to die at the hands of the Old One's army. Oh, no. I don't think there's anything. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, we're done. We're done. We failed. God damn. You can get swarmed so easy. It's actually quite incredible just how easy you can get swarmed. Wow. Okay. Well, that was an absolutely miserable failure. I have never, ever... Had such a bad run. Holy crap. I thought these weapons would absolutely destroy people, but nah, man. They're, they're, they're freaking destroying me. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, at least I didn't get killed. I mean, I guess that's a plus sign, right? That's that's cool. Oh, mate. We didn't even have a, the rest of our blooming potions on. I'm a dum-dum. Jeez. All right. Well, whatever the case, we're not looking so bad. We really am not looking so bad. Let's just have a look in the jungle real quick. Are there any plantera bulbs, like, immediately to speak of? Oh, there's actually one here. Okay. Not bad. We can see a plantera bulb straight away. That is one plantera bulb. Are there any more? Tis the question. I don't know. I don't think I can see any more than just one. Hmm. Okay. Right. I don't know what weapon to use, man. What weapon would be good against Plantera in terms of all of this? I honestly think it might have to be the yo-yo. I really think it would be the yo-yo that does the job. Because not only will we be doing frost damage, but we can do flame damage as well. And I think that would be a good thing to do. Okay, cool. I think what we'll do in which case is we'll dig out an arena. I'll go and do that off camera and I'll bring you guys back and we can give this thing our first attempt. Okay, so yeah, let's get it done. Let's head down there. Alrighty guys, so it's not exactly a box arena, but I still think that it will do the job. Oh, hold on a minute. Let's just dispatch of the trash down here real quick. Get out of here. Get ourselves a whole bunch of presents, which is always nice to see. Hey, can all of you, like, go away and stuff? I don't need a hook. I don't need cobalt. All of you can go away. Right, now then, where is the bulb? It's just below. Oh, it's just below us. Let's just make sure we don't die before we even get down there to break it. That would be fantastic. All right, here we go. And we need only get down here. And yeah, we're going to try it with 400 health. This probably isn't going to be a good idea, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, she's coming from above. Damn it, that's not where I wanted her to come from. That is not where I wanted her to come from at all. Let's buff up real quick. Uh, ooh, get off me. All right, and yeah, I think we're just about ready to get this thing rolling. Let's do it. All right, so she's already down 1,000 health. That's always good to see. So... Let's see how we do. If we could do this first time, I will literally be gobsmacked. Oh, wow. I didn't even mean to make that honey pool, but apparently I did. And as a result, I've got even more life regeneration. That is fantastic. Didn't mean to do that. Accidental wins for the win. <laughs> All right. Let's see how the Amarok fares against this uh, against this here boss. I think it would be the... I think it's the best thing in terms of damage per second. It's definitely going to be my highest damaging weapon. It just is. Like, there's no there's no denying that. There's no getting away from it. So, yeah. 21,000 health. She's almost nearly at her second stage already. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Considering I've only got frost armor. 400 health. And, well, you know, I haven't really done a great deal of preparation. Using basic perks slash buff potions. But you know what? Sometimes basic is all you need, isn't it? Alright, 1k and she's in her second form. Don't need to use health potion just yet. And there she goes. Second stage. Alright, so. Still doing well in terms of health. Always good to see. I don't have a cobalt shield on me or an obsidian shield, should I say. Oh, look at that. Look at all the damage I'm doing to her. Wow. All of her little cronies are getting destroyed, man. That's craziness. <laughs> Look at the two types of damage I'm doing to them all. That's kind of, that's a, that's amazing. It really is. Come on, let's get it done. I think we'll be able to take it down. I really do. All right, maybe a health potion right now would would not go amiss. All right, let's keep it going. She is now at eight thousand health. Oh man, I wish Blooming Expert Mo Planto was as uh, was as easy as this. Jeez, that would be amazing. As some of you guys may or may not know, or you have been keeping up to date with my Python's Realm series, I am having some major difficulties taking down Expert Mode Plantera, even with, like, really high-end gear, like Unreal Mega Sharks, Unreal Uzis, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, as you can see on here, she is an absolute walk in the park. I mean, she just is. 
I haven't even taken down all of her cronies and I'm still able to kill her with absolute ease. There we go. I'll take it. Grenade launcher. Deadly grenade launcher which does 85 damage. Unfortunately, it is not a Christmas weapon. So thus, we are not going to be using it. Or whatever the case might be, maybe my friends, we've got eight presents to open up back at base. Let's go ahead and do the old quick stack inventory management action of actioniness. And yeah, let's just spam them open. Anything cool? Another candy cane sword. Okay, so a second candy cane sword. It really does suck that we didn't get these earlier on in the series. It has to be said, but do you know what? Uh, it's 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 part of the collection, so I'll take it. I'm definitely not going to complain about it. Not at all, in fact. All right, so you can go up there, and yeah, we're pretty much done for the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you are excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating. We super appreciate it. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I just botched up a whole bunch of words there. That's actually not very good, is it? <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. GMT for the next episode. But for now, stuff me that off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.